that freedom, do what you want, when you wanna do it, that's literally the definition of success. Dude, it's all about relationships. There's there's paths, there's channels to relationships. I seen the systems that I put in place with that. I'm just like, man, why don't I do that for the construction stuff? Like Your thoughts are what lead to your feelings, right? And your feelings are what lead to actions that you take. And then actions mm -hmm. that you take leads to results in your life, right? Well, well, it's good to meet you, man. Yeah, man, you too. Thanks for thanks for you know booking this and watching the YouTube channel. How long you been watching the channel? You know, really, when uh, like two years ago, probably three years ago, probably, yeah. during the pandemic. Nice. During the pandemic, I really seen you. Nice. I love I, it. I, the first video I stumbled across was the uh, how to read blueprints. Yeah, nice. That's, that's the one. That's a good one. That's a that's a throwback too. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Well, I want to hear a bit about what you got going on. First of all, how old are you? 21. 21. So do you have a current company? Yes, we do. Okay. How many years in business? So just, just, I have to give you a kind of rundown of yeah. kind of everything that we got going on. All right. So <laughs> with, on the construction side of things, um, we have a family operated business. My dad, he's, um, he's operated it. Really? He's done it. Uh, some of the accomplishments that he's been able to do it's quite amazing really he doesn't have a super big team mm -hmm. he doesn't he, he he did a like two years ago he there was a a full gut rehab project that he did out in lake charles and it was like 275 units and it was just him one project manager mm -hmm. everything else was sold out and that's your dad you said yeah that was my dad okay and i mean Really, um, he's the one that, like, because I started in the company with him, like, and as soon as I graduated in 2019, he's been in, he's been in construction since, I mean, he plays around with, but he's always like, well, since I was 10, since he was 10 mm -hmm. out in his country, and he was, because he's not from the U.S., mm -hmm. um, he started in construction, and um, yeah, I mean, he has a bunch of years in experience. He opened his business up in 2006. So he's been in business since 2006. Mm -hmm. He started off with like, you know, smaller projects. It was actually him doing it. And of course, he scaled up into starting to sub everything out. Mm -hmm. And uh, he hit it big with getting an getting industrial project. Mm -hmm. uh, he did an industrial electrical database. I don't know what it was. I mean, database, industrial data center project that he did. Mm -hmm. And he 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 was able to like profit like, a million dollars off of that. Wow. Like, um, like a million, 500,000, around there, a million to $2 million. Wow. And with that money, he was able to basically like, he used that funding to basically start creating his construction business. Mm. And he dabbled into like, uh, so <clears throat> when, when he was starting to, he used to be, uh, before 2006, he was a maintenance guy at an apartment complex. Mm. So he was able to kind of like build some friendships there. Mm -hmm. When after he got that, that all that money, he was able to contact back those people that he used to be friends with. And they were working at uh, what are they called investment funds, mm -hmm. like multifamily investment funds. Yeah. And basically one of the guys that he was like really friends with, he was he's a project manager at one of those investment funds. And um, from there, he was able to be like, hey, man, like, give me the opportunity. Boom, got an opportunity. Um, and he built a name for himself in that investment fund, like very, very strong, like very strong name. He um, he 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 then did like a like a three, like it was like 30 to 45 units that he updated, like mm -hmm. full gut. You know, he made like probably like a million off of that, too. He made mm -hmm. like another million. Wow. <laughs> then he. Uh, yeah, and, and this is all just construction's this, this is, amazing. It's a good business, man. <laughs> it's a great business. Yeah, and, and it's it was just him. It's not. It's no no. He never really had like the, the how do I call it? Like he just he knows construction and he knows the numbers and he knows how to make money in it. Mm -hmm. But he never like really organized his business, mm -hmm. like structured it where where you know he is just well structured and can run without him. He's always like still checking in on, you know, he's, always, he's checking in on projects. He's, um, mm. 
he's he's doing all that type of stuff. So yeah. he's making. I mean, he he makes money, but it's not structured. It's not organized where he could so run without him. He's not in the B quadrant of the cash flow quadrant. You know. There we go. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. not like. And then, uh, of course, I mean, from there with that, because this has only been with that one investment fund, because all they do is buy value out of properties and they, they're like just renovating them. Mm-hmm. And um, their leasing office, like all that stuff, they basically just a lot of it. They gave it to my dad. Mm. And then uh, and then that big project, that really big project came. Has he scaled at all? Has he hired a team at all? No, no. Still, that's that's. That's the reason for this call. That's, that's okay. the reason why I want to see how, okay. <laughs> how you kind of have it structured and all that stuff. Yeah. And then um, he, he was able to do that, that Louisiana project like two two years ago, and he was able to profit like $7 million off of that. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's crazy. So right now, we're just – the thing is right now, I'm not sure if you kind of noticed it with the economy um, that – I don't know. I mean, we're seeing it like real, like from that investment fund, they kind of slowed down on buying properties to you mm-hmm. know, remodel or whatnot because of how things are. Mm-hmm. So since we don't really have a, a, a I would say like a, a like a different clientele than this, just this big investment fund, like businesses slow down because of it. Mm-hmm. Like, OK, we need to do something on that end. Yeah, I've always said. It's like we need to like I've always been my, I mean my dad's Hispanic he's kind of he's a little stubborn <laughs> but he's um I always told him like man we need to branch out into other I mean we have capital now we have money to you know invest and do all this you got tons he's of money never, yeah that's yeah, awesome yeah tons, tons of it but we never really deployed it to like mm. scale into different you know we dude we don't have a website we don't have a website wow yeah you're gonna kill me on us. <laughs> we have no SEO. We don't even like we don't do we do zero marketing right now. Wow. Zero. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and right now, currently, um It sounds to me like you you guys have put all your eggs in one basket. Yes. And maybe that, that basket is starting to float away or dry up a little bit. And it's like, man, yeah. like let's get on the phone with Jesse. <laughs> Yeah, let's get on the phone with Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, I, I know I'm aware that right now we're like, we're, we need to, I want to really structure the business. Like, I want to structure it where, like, that's all I was going to ask you. Like, how do you have, like, your systems in place? What systems do you use? And of course, you know, getting the, you know, the marketing going as well. 10 4. All right. So let's kind of dive in. So let me, uh, I'm going to move you over real quick. So, and I might just share my screen real quick with you. So, J Lane Construction, let me kind of scroll down. You've seen our website, right? Yeah. JLaneConstruction.com. So, I got different videos of, you know, different people here. But this is our ultimate structure. So, got Ron as the COO, right? So, Chief Operations Officer. He operates the company. This, at this point, is running without me. I don't need to be in the business, right? So imagine like a funnel, right? And there's the top of the funnel and that's everything within the funnel. You can still see me, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Everything within the funnel is in the business, right? And so if you look at Ron, Ron is sitting right there at the top of that funnel, right? And so Mm -hmm. let me kind of draw this out for you. If you can kind of see. Can you see that? Yeah. Ron is yeah, right. I guess so. Ron is right here, right? And I have Clay. Clay is over here in sales. Right? Then I have Brian over here in estimating. Right? And then Jesse is not in the business. He's up here doing marketing. And these lines are, hey, look at me, man. Look at me. Look at what we're doing. This is my company. Come hire me to do some stuff. And Jesse um, feeds things into the funnel, which is the business to clay, Brian, Ron. And then we got PMs. We have superintendents, PMs and supers. And then we have happy clients, which lead to dollars. Can you kind of see that? So that's my structure. Um, 
I'm gonna. I have a junior estimator that is not here. I have Debbie, which is starting next month, office manager, um, and a new project manager and a new superintendent coming on the pipeline in the next like month or less. So Clay handles sales and he's also doing project management currently, but we're actually transitioning him into sales. So it'll free up my plate even more, which is literally the last key in my business. And they're already doing it is, um, is doing that sales portion. Cause I already have project management, you know, the tech side, the office manager side, the bookkeeping, everything else, superintendent, obviously, you know, it's, it's all being handled. The subs get paid automatically. The books get done. Everything is just a well-oiled machine, which I'll dive into my, in, I'll show you some of my internal systems as well. That'll, that'll really, really help you. Um, so then we have Mark and Josh. Mark is a project manager and we're hiring another project manager, like I said, because we're just overflowing with jobs. I mean, we have so many projects open right now. Ten that's a great thing. It's a, it's a fantastic thing, man. Um, so Josh is an amazing superintendent. Jeremy's an assistant project manager and he's our permit coordinator. And then Randy's one of our newer superintendents. He's actually doing really well. And so it's exciting. But really at this point, doing about 10 million bucks, like revenue, like cash in the door, this is what we got, but some of them aren't on here. Like our junior estimator, Sam, works with Brian in his office. So it's kind of, that, that's our estimating department. So you can kind of think like, I'm not a $50 million company, at least not yet. Our goal is to be a $100 million company by 2030. But this is my, my current structure. And let, let, me, let me show you this, bro. So this is J-Lane Internal. Let me kind of move you over a little bit to give a little bit more screen here. <laughs> so... <clears throat> have, have you heard me talk about this at all? Yeah, I have. What, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, what do you know about, about what I'm about to show you? Well, just all, isn't it like the, like all the, well, basically yeah, the internal systems that you use. Yeah. Um, I know, it, I know it was uh, that you're, you were like trying to sell like, like, or you're like selling like your website and kind of like the whole layout of it and all that. Yep. Stuff. Yep. So long story short, you can't grow a business without systems and people, right? Mm. So a business is two things. It's systems and people. So you, you can't have a, you know, you can't have systems without people to run them, but you can't just hire people without having your systems in place. So it's kind of like this catch 22 of you got to spend five, 10 years, like building, figuring everything out. First of all, building all of your systems out. And then where do you even put them? Do you do you print everything out? You know, a lot of guys tell you, make a three ring binder, right? Print it out, hand it to your superintendent. This is this is a checklist, you know, of how to do it. But what I've done is, and if you've ever read E-Myth by Michael Lee Gerber or any book like that that talks about you got to systemize your business, grow it like a franchise, that kind of thing. You got to have, what I've done is made it into a, a website, which is a tech version of any anyone can pull it up on their phone. Um, mm -hmm. and access it. And once it's updated, which is super easy to update with a click of a button through Squarespace, it's updated across everyone's platform. So long story short, this will radically change the way you and your dad are running this business, right? What's the, what's the business called again? It's called Max Level. Next Level, I like that. Let me go back to my- Max name. Level, M-A-X. Yeah, Max like, Level. Max. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Max Level. So how you could get max level to the next level is having everything on here of how things are done. This is all the templates, right? We can, I want to come back to the templates. But for example, you guys need a project manager, right? Yeah, you, we do. And maybe you, maybe you even have one, but maybe you need to hire another one or a superintendent or anything like that, an estimator, a sales guy, you know, an admin person, right? So- what this is going over is everything that they're responsible for. So you guys, you need to build something like this that tells them bullet points. What are the expectations, right? What are the expectations? And then quiz them. Who completes daily logs every day? Who's ultimately responsible for daily log completion each day? Who initially builds the project schedule? If they're like, oh, well, that's the superintendent's responsibility. Bro, no, it literally says you build the schedule right up here, you know? So who schedules inspections? You know, that might be the, the superintendent, 
you know? And our company actually scheduling inspections is super. But the PM is is responsible ultimately for the actions of the super, right? So then they submit it and it's kind of like, and they sign their name right here. So it's kind of like a, a sign off saying like, hey, like I understand these responsibilities. And you've, as the business owner, spent the time to, to detail these things out. Same, same, that's just the overview. I mean, I have weekly checklists, daily logs, schedule, how to actually do everything, you know, like pay applications. Let me click that. Like, look at this step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and arrows. And by the way, this is available for purchase. Like literally, if you guys wanted to buy it, literally business in a box, all my systems done for you a decade, you save a decade. <laughs> so all this is what is in is in my template, but it's also stuff that if you don't want to buy the template, you don't have to. But I would recommend building all these things out for like even just as simple as this, bro. Apple computer training, my whole Apple course, like how to use a computer is here with questions. How to like you, you, it's basic it's it's basically for your for your like for your employees to be able to go in there and yes. You, they don't have to ask you. They They're don't, all, it's do, all in there. Bro, if you can tell them and not have to talk to them, not have to have them ask you questions. You tell them, go to your internal website at a click of a button. It's a password protected website. And they, they, I have every onboard go through this. Every new employee, when an onboarding process, they know all the keyboard shortcuts. They know how to manage the, the windows on their computer, not windows like operating system, like these within Finder. How to send emails, you know, file management, quick, you know, Google Drive within Finder. Everything is here. And by the way, this, all these videos literally come with the template I sell, or you could build it. You could build it yourself, but like, like arrows, I'm saying like how to add arrows. I use my, a picture of my wife, but like, look here, Hey, like if I want to tell a subcontractor, Hey, like this is how you do arrows, you know? So every little thing is in here. So all my PMs know how to mark stuff up. I message on a computer using reminders the right way. Google Chrome how to use Gmail, getting this, because it's like I have my Gmail settings and I know what I want, right? But how does the whole company know what, what you want? When you hire new people, have them go through something like this. The general settings, it's all on here, exactly how I want the whole company to be run. So does this kind of make sense? Like building a whole, building it once, right? Building it once for how you want every single piece of your company to be run. Like if I want a DocuSign sent under sales, this is the sales guy's role. He clicks DocuSign. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally step one, step two are moving GIFs of each thing that they need to click. See, so he's, he's clicking the set signing order and then step two, typing in the email. And then look at this. Um, it's literally dragging. You, you even have it broken down by... Uh, Dude, every... By, yeah. by sales, estimator, yep. Like, yep. position. Yep. And there's all these systems pre-baked, bro. Pre-baked. Look at this. Even culture. Like if you if you click on this, like you're going to... You get all of my culture. Like, yo, when someone's yelling at you, stay in the green, bro. Because you're not accomplishing anything by yelling back. You know? So this is how you scale to 10 million... 50 million, 100 million, a billion. This is the answer behind how do I systemize my company? How do I organize? How do people know what to do? It's this, bro. <laughs> wow. No, yeah. that's, that's, I've never heard of like, yeah. Man, that's, 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 yeah. Huh, so, that's very different. Yeah. Isn't that, dude, I mean, that's what is going to bring people to the next level is being different. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to talk to your dad at some point too, man. I think that'd be really cool. No, yeah. No, yeah. No, uh, I'm not, I'm not planning on just making this a one call thing. Yeah, we could. I, I, I want to, yeah. I want to do something where you know, maybe every quarter or so, possibly. For sure. Be able to do something like that. For sure. Yeah. Anytime. So what do you think, uh, man? What are your thoughts? Overall on the systems? <clears throat> Well, yeah, I mean, building the business, using the systems. Um, yeah, I mean, like, how do you think, what do you, what's your take on, do you think it's a good idea to to build these systems? 
No, I of course, because you could literally like <laughs> instead of having these type of questions where they ask you and you're yeah. having to use your time to yeah. tell them yeah. how to go do a DocuSign is literally right there in front of you. That's literally right there. Cool. It's like you, you, you save so much. You're just buying time, bro. Like you could I spent 10 years putting this together. Right. And if you wanted to buy this thing, you literally just be saving that that time that I already put in and you just be you just implement it in a moment's notice. You know, I do have I mean, a, it's, it. Because you put a lot of time into it. It's a decade worth of work. But um, I do, I have it, it's on majorly on sale right now and it will not be forever. It's actually going to be going up incrementally over the next bunch of months because I have some marketing funnels happening. I just bought jessielane.com. Super exciting. Um, jessielane.com? Jessielane.com. How, how much did it cost you? 12 grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's going to be worth it though. Yeah, that, that replaces jessielaneconsulting.com. So mm. so that's where you probably booked this call is jessielaneconsulting.com, which is now jessielane.com. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff's a lot of stuff happening, bro. Like I'm really diving in full time to YouTube. I see that. I mean, I see that with all the content that you're putting out. It's gonna be even more, man. I'm gonna be so that's it, bro. I, I'm I'm just now like really understanding that like, first of all, there's a lot more money to be made, net profit. Like, let's say I do 10 million bucks in the business, right? Maybe I make eight to 12%. Let's say I make a million bucks, right? But like, if I, what if I did two and a half million in Jesse Lane, you know, but I was making 70% margins? Yeah, no, it's it's way more. You know, and, and, much more profit. and I love both, you know, but like, that's why I have J Lane Construction completely running it, running itself right now. I'm the CEO still, like, I'm still like, hey, like, like you know, let, let's do some vision. Let's do some culture. Check in on financials. Weekly meeting with my COO, and really, it's been the last like bunch of months. I've been kind of like transitioning as we've been growing our staff, hired um, more project managers, so Ron could really be the COO, and I'm coaching him. So all I do at this point is just oops, is just check in with Ron. You know what I'm saying? And and my team, I I, I get the pulse. You got to keep your 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 thumb on the pulse to make sure your business is healthy. You gotta re mm -hmm. review financials. Double check your bookkeep. You know, like, but th there's a. I'm not working in the business, bro. Like, I don't review the estimates that go out any, anymore. I, Ron does that, and I trust my estimator, Brian. You know, so it's it's really cool, man. It, it's taken me about nine years to kind of like get to this point, but going into like year ten, which are like you know, that's kind of where I'm at like right now, is major strides towards systemization, which is everyone every day, JLAN internal is a bookmark on their Chrome, a shortcut, you know, a bookmark. So how many employees no, that, do you got? How many employees do you guys have? Well, that's, that's literally exactly what, literally what you, all that, that you just put out there. That's exactly what I want to work towards. I love exactly it, bro. What, I love it. <laughs> no, right now, right now, I mean, our main team, our main team, I mean, we have one, two, three, seven, it's like nine, nine in total. But the thing is, like office staff, like we need more, we need, see, like, this is my question. Like currently right now, a lot of the stuff, like I said, my dad, he works in like in the business. He's not working off of it. Right. Yeah. That's, I mean, I already know that's like a, such a big issue. Yeah. We need to put people in place to basically like, you know, he's, he's always taking parts of the estimating. He's taking parts of the management of the projects. Yeah. He, he's not it. the CEO. He's not the business owner. He, no, he's, he, not. he's, he happens to own the business. Right. And he yes. does, he does own the business, but he doesn't act like it. Yeah. So exactly. how, how are you going to help him? What do you think? Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to systemize things and hire the right individuals mm -hmm. to put them in place to like free some of his time. So yeah, he can focus bro. more on other things. Like I always, I always, for example, like, um, I've seen him like go to a project and, you know, he's taking a look at certain, he's like, ah, da, 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 da. taking a look at making sure a beam is, is well structured, da, 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 da. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, if you have somebody there in place, you could possibly be out there trying to close on a bigger deal. Sell some you know more work. I mean? Yeah. Sell some more work, work on your systems and make sure your vision and your culture are there, man. And then go sit by the back yeah. porch with a pina colada. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's, that isn't that, exactly isn't that what we it, want, like, bro? Isn't that what we all uh, yeah. want? I mean, like, not to be lazy. I'm just saying, like, that freedom. Do what you want, when you want to do it. That's literally the definition of success. That's the that's the purpose of it. It's not to make a lot of money and be working 24 yeah. hours in a day. No, it's exactly. Not the point of it. Exactly.
Yeah. So, yeah. dude, I'm excited for you, man. So what's stopping you from from just buying all my systems and just plugging it in, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get familiar with everything right now with you and, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. just trying to see what you kind of would, like, let's say right now, main, like the main people just in charge of everything is just me and my dad right now. Mm -hmm. Just me and my dad. We do want to start hiring some people. But like I said, like business has slowed down because we had all our eggs in one basket. Yeah. So right now I'm okay. <clears throat> Shit. I mean, oh, but there's capital there, but I'm like, I don't want to just start hiring people out without nothing coming in. Yeah. 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 So you guys got to branch out your client base, right? Whether it's net networking events, right? And you literally like, like in June of last year, um, I'm very good at networking as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to do that with the real estate stuff. Love and it. as I was, in, as I was talking to some, some, some real estate people at networking mm -hmm. events, I was able to almost land a hospital job from a uh, Kelsey Siebold. Like, mm -hmm. It was like a, it was like a $500,000 job or something. You know, it's just like a foot in the door to a yeah. project. Yeah. Yeah. But, but my dad, he, he, I mean, he didn't, he wasn't too comfortable about doing like a hospital. Oh, really? Yeah, he wasn't too comfortable about it. He was like, ah, it's because it's because he's like he was like it's more complicated because yeah, you have to work nights and you have to be careful with all the equipment. It's very it's a lot more risk, but it's high barrier to entry as well because once you get in, it's very very high margin. Yeah, you can make good yeah, money with multifamily too. Like I've I've made great money with multifamily. But do you have a piece of your dad's company or or Yeah, I do. Okay. Like what kind of percentage ballpark? I it's mean, it's a twenty percent right now. I was that's kind of the number I was thinking. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, I think you investing with him, you guys need to talk about you're like 80, 20 partners? Yeah, right now. Like, and then my brother, he's also gonna come in. Okay. Eventually my dad he wants to he does want to retire. Yeah. And he kinda his goal, he's like he he recently told me, he was like, man. I wish I could have given y'all like a business that's just running and operating without me, but I can't, I wasn't able to do that, but well, I've been able to build some capital so we can do something. Well, dude, we're going to, we can do this. You know, I, I can help. We can get your business up and running. You know, mm -hmm. all you need is systems and people, the right people and the right systems. So by the, by the way, this template that I have literally comes with all my spreadsheets, templates, hiring quizzes, Every proposal template, you know, like it's all there. All you got to do is put your logo on it. If you want to tweak some stuff, like, you know, my culture thing or like, it's all my like culture, like how to, you know, all the different stuff, but it just comes pre-baked with it all filled out. But anyway, um, back to this marketing thing, like building relationships with customers, show off your work online, make videos, you know, if you want to take some of the you're not tight on cash, which is good. So you can invest, like you don't have to do all the video work yourself. You know, you, you can delegate, you know? So I, I did it myself for the first many, I did all, everything myself for the first like year or two, but then I kind of built over the last decade, building this thing year by year, month by month, laying down all my hammers, right? So I used to go build the deck. Then I used to go, you know, all this stuff, but then I laid down that hammer. Then I laid down my superintendent hammer, my project manager hammer, my estimator hammer and I'm laying down my sales hammer right now in my, in my business. So it's taken a lot of time for me to get to this point, mm -hmm. but I'm at the point and I, I feel like I am retired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your dad wants to retire, but he could still enjoy the, ha you know, the profits of the business, but have it run itself. Like, like a thing for him, he's like, I could retire and he can make money. But the thing is, it's like, you still got to work. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, because he, he knows, he, I mean, he, he, I'm pretty positive. I mean, he could easily make some money with like, he could, you know, literally just buy a couple flip homes and flip them and he'll make, he could easily make 300K a year. Right. But it, he still has to work. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not the point of it. I mean, you can always make money working, but. That's not the know, point, bro. Those who work the hardest make the least amount of money. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's basically, yeah, basically that's kind of his mind. And I don't, I'm yeah. like, no, yeah. it's systemized. You, you know who makes the most amount of money? It's those, not just that work smarter. Those that work hard can make a hundred grand a year. Those that work smart can make, 
you know, a million a year, whatever. Those that put hire people, put a team in place that work smarter and harder than them make 10 million a year or a hundred million. You know what I'm saying? That's where, that's the difference. That's, of, that's, the, shift. that's the shift, bro. Uh, I like that. I'm going to write that one down. That's, that's, that's a good little thought. That's juicy, right? That's a great thought. <laughs> You're going to be really successful, man. No, I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, that means a lot. I can see it. I can see it. You're you're hungry just like I was, man, back in the day. I'm like, I'm going to figure this out. And I'm going to invest. I'm going to invest my time. I'm going to invest my, my money, my resources. To I spent a lot of money on just learning stuff. Like I spent a lot of my time learning stuff. My evenings. I don't play video games. I don't. I didn't even go out with friends. I didn't watch movies. I didn't play video games. I didn't do anything entertainment because you know what entertainment means like the root greek i can't i probably get that wrong but the actual like latin word or whatever is like never attaining right so you're kind of like that's like the root of what entertainment means you're suspended between attainment of two different points these are points of attainment right but you're entertainment so not to say that there's not relaxation you know i've been meditating recently like bro just like it's like the blue sky. The blue sky is your mind. It's just the presence of your mind, but the clouds are your thoughts. Mm. So the blue sky is your the presence of your mind. The clouds are like thoughts that you have. And sometimes it's getting real cloudy, right? And you got all these thoughts. And, and, and I've been not like in a weird spiritual way, but just like a meditation of just stopping for a moment, focusing on my breath. Man, I've tried it, man. You know, I've tried doing it. I've tried it. Really? It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'll it too. It's, it, yeah, I mean, it it's is. hard for me, bro. I I understand because, but it's it's um not trying to have the clouds go away and just be there with your mind. It's not forcing that to happen. It's just focusing on your breath and realizing that you've had a thought and you and you lost focus and just gently bringing it back to your breath, not being upset, just noticing that your mind is having thoughts, notice the thought. Then that'll help you with talking to a client, with hiring a new employee in that interview process. Like focus in on, start with the breath, but then focus in on that person. What is what is this moment? What is this moment? Or focusing on when you're making big decisions saying, hey, I've, I just had this thought. It's just the thought. It doesn't mean I have to act on it. It doesn't mean... I need to feel a certain way or whatever, but your thoughts are, are, if you ever watch some of my videos, like your thoughts are what lead to your feelings, right? And your feelings are what lead to actions that you take. And then actions that you take leads to results in your life, right? So it all kind of starts with your thoughts and your thoughts come ultimately from your programming, how you were raised, what you were told as a kid, stuff like that. But if you could just acknowledge your thoughts and then, Make a, you know, make a decision to do with what you want with that thought. I don't know. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, no, it makes sense. All right, man, I love reading books. I do that stuff all the time. So I'm always like, yeah. I always, I always like surrounding myself around like people that know more than me, have much more money than me. Because all these type of things, they, they tell me all these deep thoughts and I'm like, <laughs> what? And I got to think three, four, five, six, six times to, to get it. Yeah. But, always like that's a well bro manage your thoughts when i was um when i was your age bro my mind i'm 31 you're 21 right now it just you have a different my mind went like like when i was like 23 24 you haven't even got dude you're such a smart kid I, i know it i can see it but you haven't even got to that like it's gonna you're gonna know you're gonna see the world bigger and differently in like four years you know Mm. Yeah, wow, that, that excites me, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for you. <laughs> I love well, it. Well, for sure. Um, what, what, what do you think? Do you think it's possible to really grow a very, very successful construction company just focused in primarily on apartments or modeling apartments? I think focusing on one customer is a, a bad decision. Do you? Yes. Or or even one. I, I think the riches are in the niches. So don't get me wrong as far as 
hey, this is what we do and this is what we do best. That's positive. And I don't think focusing on one industry per se is necessarily like a huge problem. I definitely would not focus on just one client or two clients. I would, I would cast a wide net and have many more to lean on. But you could also do some things around multifamily construction. Like, hey, we do the amenity centers too, or we do the, you know, whatever aspects you could think of kind of within that realm. You know, maybe you do, you start being able to, you find a good playground subcontractor and a part of the apartment. Like we do that too. Like, oh, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. But being a little bit more diverse, but not too diverse to where you dilute mm-hmm. what you do. So you want to stay focused, but not too focused where you get comfy with one client or two clients or whatever. No, I, no my, my, my thing is like, like right now, for sure I do. I mean, of course, we're going to get the website up. Yeah. Get the website up. You know, we're going to go ahead and get that up. We're going to do some SEO. We're going to get on Google. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of partnering or like working with this, uh, with our client already. I mean, he's, he knows the industry. He knows yeah. the apartment people here. Um, but also I want to mix in like some outbound marketing mm-hmm. since, you know, to get some more now, like kind of now leads. Now stuff. Yeah. So your now stuff now is not going to be as valuable as the people who seek you out are sold before they even call you. You know, they know you before they call you. It's like, you're going to probably get the job. <clears throat> you could definitely do some outbound. You're going to spend more money, more time. Cause it's like kind of cold. Um, maybe it's warm, meaning they've heard of you before cold as they've never heard of you before. So you could give it a shot. I don't personally do that. I just focus on the Google, my business, um, and getting great re- client testimonial videos and put it on the website. If you don't have any client testimonial videos, bro, like how, how's anyone going to know how great you are or trust that other people are saying that you're great versus just you saying you're great, you know? Yeah. So that's one thing how, I focused well, on. At the beginning when you didn't have a name, how was it that you were able to get some clients? In? So I started really, really small, bro. Like literally building a set of stairs myself on Thumbtack for four grand. You know, like, like this is kind of like a little bit before I started my company, but then like I actually started my company and then like the first like year was just me like getting my foot in the door. And then I had a couple of those little clients. I did a bathroom model, an addition, you know, I had a couple of those residential clients shout me out on a, a review, you know, ultimately. And I was like, Hey, can I film you? Then I just did a bunch of those. Dude, I kept busting out great work for little clients you know, under hundred grand jobs, residential? residential. Yeah. For the first little while. And then a commercial client called me, bro. They're like, Oh, this guy's like, people like him. And I renovated. This is the first commercial permit I ever pulled was a, a 6,000 square foot waxing facility, <laughs> like literally waxing people. So like I just completely renovated down to the studs, you know, com- commercial renovation. And I, I filmed a client testimonial video and that video is what started my commercial contracting career. Mm. Posted on my website, got it. Got and then, and then from there, how did you like scale it from just you know one commercial client to you know, multiple? Like, were you just investing solely hard on your just your website, your online presence? Because you like you weren't doing any outbound at all whatsoever. I've never done it. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I've never, never done it. Yeah. So like, 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 so like, solely, were you just like, like, yeah, you were just focused in on your website. It's all about the website. It's all about. It's a little. It's more. It's social media too these days, um, but it's about online reviews on Google. Mm. Yeah. Wow, is that is that the end? That must be very powerful. Then. Very, very powerful. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. That's the answer. And then your sales guys, they're just, they're just, they're just. You know, they're just calling the leads as they come in and yeah, like so all the clients call 904 500 lane and they get an a, a uh, intelligent office. It's like a virtual office up in the mm-hmm. tower, River Place Tower in Jacksonville. And they just answer all my calls, take the client's info, it goes into just a Google sheet, bro. It's like I used to have a more complex system, but I'm like, just 
just use the Google Sheet. So then it alerts me whenever it gets edited, which is every single day. There's clients, right? So it's an office. So it's a. Uh, so is your office staff answer these calls? No, not at all. Oh, it, oh, it's a. It's a. Uh, what they call it? A, uh, Shared space. Like calling- uh, it's 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 not really a calling center, but it's kind of it's kind of similar. It's a shared space. They do other businesses too, and and J Lane Construction, and I've been using that for like nine years. Shared space. Yeah, it's Whoa, a, is it, that, it's is, called is a virtual like, office. Huh? Virtual office. And they kind of just and then they submit the leads into a Google Sheet for you. That's it, bro. And they're just like I have, and then, and, and then that gets, and then your your sales guys are looking at them. Exactly. Yep. And then we email them back. I have a template. Boom. The template goes out. It's even, I think, a part of my package too, where it's just like you copy and paste it in Gmail. And then they book book a Calendly call, you know, and I go over, I have a new client intake form. Boom. Hey, this is everything that you need for your project. You know, what are you looking for in a contractor? You're looking for low price, fast, you know, timing or quality. What do you want? I go over MEP, finishes. What are you looking for? Then we move forward to next steps. Do you, do you have drawings? Do you not have drawings? Do you need design build? Do you need us to just uh, bid the drawings you already have? You know, so there's there's different different options and everything like that. Like, how was it that you, like, scaled when, you know, you got that first commercial client, right? Like, all right, so you got the commercial client, did the waxing thing. Well, what did Jesse right afterwards? Like, what was it that you did to keep <sighs> it going? I don't remember specifically what my next jobs were. I know I did a Sonny's barbecue edition and just the relationship started happening. <clears throat> then I started making YouTube videos and I was like, Hey, check out my YouTube videos on my company channel. And people were seeing like, Oh, this guy's done projects around town. He knows what he's doing. Now it's just completely snowballing. Like I've built this big boom, boom. And it's just getting bigger each time. Boom. Now there's 26 medical marijuana stores coming to, um, Florida in the next three years, we're going to build all of them. We're already building five or six right now. So clients are seeking us out, you know, take five oil changes, like all these different developers, a ground up hotel in Fernandina about to happen hopefully soon. I mean, what are the margins on the, on like the, the new build stuff, new commercial build outs? Oh, so I don't know. It depends anywhere from like 20 to 35%. Sometimes I can make, you know, and then, you know, there, there's some overhead in there, you know? So I would say like, S- certain jobs you could you can make a solid 20 30 percent on if you do it right 20 30 percent i was just curious about it yeah because i mean yeah. my, our, our main thing i mean are we just been able to really make a lot of money is really on the remodel stuff remodeling apartments remodeling apartments bro i've done it and it's super high margin it's a very 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 high margin very high margin so that's the reason yeah. and then when you were growing like how is it that you were managing your overhead that's a good question. Not hiring too fast, bro, but like, and it's hard, bro, because like when you're first starting, you got to pay a guy 40 grand, but he sucks, you know? So, and I've done that, but um, you got to build the capital reserves, right? Which I don't know if I'm speaking to the wrong guy because it sounds like you guys already have money like built up, but. Oh, if, right. Like currently right now we have like, we have 4 million liquid. That's amazing. Yeah. Which is awesome. Like. That's more than a lot of people, bro. Like you're in the 1% like or more. Why would you not invest it back into your business? Just like half a million of it, like a year. Like, so like my overhead right now is like, it's like million, three or four, roughly, you know, just for a million, three. Yeah. A million, 1.4 a year, something like that. So it's like, um, wow. Yeah. But it's wow. but it runs without me, bro. No, we, no, we need we need to change things up because yeah, man, our overhead. Is, yeah, no, it more, man, more or less that up. more wow. or less. Huh? Is it more or less? What are you saying? Wow, I mean, no, it's it's our overhead is probably like. I already know one that like a big issue that it is is because my daddy like, I've already told him. Because I've already told him, you need to fire these guys out. He has a lot of uh, family in the business. Yeah. I told him, you need to fire them. Yeah. They're his brothers. He doesn't want to fire them. Dang. He's paying. If I tell you how much he's paying them, you're going to like you're gonna throw up. Like a lot? So, a lot? Oh, it's a crazy amount. It's a, it's in a, it's a. Multi. How much do you think, how much do you think a painter 
should get paid. A painter, like 30 bucks an hour? Oh, a year. Oh, a year. I don't know. I mean, maybe like, you know, 50 to 60 grand, you know, 70, you know, I don't know. A painter. I don't Is he like. A lot of money. He's paying him six figures? No, no, not six figures, but like okay. 70 grand. I'm like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not one of them. One, two, it's two. So like, he yeah, has like, in-house. That's why he's making such good margins. Is you guys have, how, how many employees do you have? Like, like in how but the thing is, no, 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 no. Really, really, the reason why we're like, we don't make money from the in house people. Cause like the in house people, all they're really good at is like paint contract. Like they like, they do like handyman stuff, paint. But the only reason why he keeps them around is to like, like, like his whole philosophy was all right, enter into these apartment complexes doing like the make ready stuff and painting and stuff. And that's how you get the foot in the door. And, um, and he would, and that's why, that's why he hired, like, that's why he had all his family, like, he had like, you know, five, five of his five in-house people are like painters and mm -hmm. make ready guys. Yeah. And he would, he was using them to, you know, do, you know, do the painting and get the foot in the door or whatnot. But the thing is how much, like, he's not, he was not making, like, he's not charging, uh, like for example, he pays them like around 250 a day. Right. And you can only they can only paint so many they can't even paint a unit a day like because it, it takes so much time he never really made money off of like the in-house like the in-house stuff he mm -hmm. always made money on the bigger rehab projects that's why in my eyes i was always like we need to let the all of the in-house people go yeah 100 out the way oh yeah and focus and focus only on the big stuff and hire the only in-house people we need to have is like office staff and you know sales reps uh Project, project managers manager. and a superintendent crew, the staff, like staff of super, you didn't have like four superintendents, bro. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, that, and actually I was going to ask you, see, cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with all that stuff. Cause we don't have stuff organized like you project manager. What his duty is to basically manage the project, right? Do all that stuff. Yeah. Superintendent. Builds what is schedule. It so a project manager builds the schedules, maybe talks to the client, gets everything lined up. Uh, you know, does all the buyout, right? So buying all the subcontracts, you know, the p purchase orders. Um, <clears throat> then the so, so, he, so so the so the project manager they're talking to the subcontractors and negotiating numbers and all that stuff. Yep, yep. And then he's he, the the PM coordinates because it comes from the estimator, right? Estimating and sales. So he's going to talk to him. Hey, which subcontractors have you kind of talked to about numbers and what could we do? Like, which ones have you kind of promised? Which ones need a job? You know, which ones. Cause you might get a couple of bids, which one are we going to go with? But if you, you ultimately you want to get a good number, sometimes you pay a little bit more for a better sub, right? Then the superintendent is on the field side of it, right? hundred percent of his time is in the field on site, calling the subs, actually adhering to the schedule and adjusting the schedule as you go and doing daily reports, you know, for you and your in-house team. And the, of course the client sees that as well. Always on site. Yeah, yeah, always. All right. And what? And what do you think? Like, as like currently right now, we're not we're not producing cash. Like, we're not producing heavy cash because we don't have any big projects lined up. We're not mm -hmm. doing any big projects, so we don't have anything lined up on that. We have a cash reserve. I mean, we have we have a lot of cash reserve right there. So what I want to use is use some of that cash to bring in leads mm -hmm. so we can produce cash from other, you know, other clients or whatnot. And from there start seeing, all right, we need to start hiring this out, do this out. Like, how do you think I should kind of like, what my strategy behind all that should be? So say it again. Um, you want like, 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 how, like, how do you think is the best, small, like most, like the smartest way that I should go about that with like right now, we're, we don't have, you know, income coming in like okay. that because we don't have a big project. Yeah. So and, you got to, you got to find clients. You want clients to find you. Find clients. Mm -hmm. Right. So long story short, like I, like I said before, Google my business, that's your first step. Website, almost the same step. It's very important. Those two things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you want to ask some of your past clients to give you some reviews on Google. No, I guess I'm, I'm going to tell every single one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just send the link. Be like, yo, like, leave, you know, spend some time, leave me a review. Then, you know, clients are going to start finding you, bro. Cause 
how do they even know you exist if you like I would never hire you if you don't even have a website. There's not a, there's not a chance. I'm at, if I'm a client, I would hire a general contractor without them had a website. I don't even hire subcontractors that aren't like, hey, I, I'm out here. Come look at me, bro. I'm an honest business guy. Here's my website. These are the things we do. Here's some past clients. They have good reviews. If they're like two stars on Google and don't have a website, there's not a chance that I would ever hire anyone like that. <laughs> so yeah, bro, you got to get out there on, on online, you know? So once I do that, all right, and we're, we're right now, we're going to, we're going to get leads or whatnot. Yeah. When, like, how is it the like, first person I should probably hire? That's like, like that first okay. hire. Yeah. So depends what you guys are good at. So are you good at sales? Me? Yeah. Great at it. I'm great Fantastic. at it. Fantastic. You don't need to hire a sales guy. Is your, your dad seems like he's a great project manager. He's a great project man. He's, uh, he's, he's probably, he's, bro. He's the, ah, man. He's, he's, he loves doing it, man. Listen to he this. Listen to this. He is the technician in the company. No one's going to change that. If he hasn't done it by now, it's not in his blood. Yeah, he's 48. It's not going to happen, bro. Like, I'm just telling you, like, you could, unless he really wants to change, anything's possible. But if that person doesn't want it, want it to change, then it's not. Well, 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 at least not now. We won't, we won't yeah. need to put the funds in to get a project manager. We put... Where, right. where is it that we should probably hire that? I would hire a superintendent. You think so right now? You think like, like, like as we're getting leads and you think that should be our first hire, a superintendent? hundred percent. Cause then he, he's on site every single day running the job. What does that free up? You know, you, you and your dad, you can sell, but you need your dad. Maybe your dad can estimate. Can he estimate? Yeah, I figured he could. So that's why I said superintendent because your dad's the PM estimator, CEO, COO. And who does the books? See, that's another hire we need. <laughs> I, you don't necessarily need to hire anybody. You could hire, I mean, you know, a third party. You don't need to hire him in house. You could hire a third party accountant. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we have a third party accountant. It's the, the only thing is like with them is that they don't like, I don't know how you do it, but like keep track of like, every single cost of like every project to see how profitable you are in each project. Yeah. Well, bro, like, let me show you something. Your entire screen. You use, you use builder trend for that or what is it that you use? Well, I, can you see my screen? Yeah. Under general here, look at this. You click, this is the internal systems, right? Receipts, expense receipts form. This comes with my template, but you really need to just buy this template, bro. Like amount project. It's all, no one's going to, is, you know, no one's going to do it differently than the other guy. So it's all done the same, right? And then you can add the receipt and this pulls up on their phone or on the computer, like add a picture and then you can click submit. Then everything literally goes in there, um, which then goes into builder trend. And that's what your bookkeeper does. It says, okay, here's the cost code. This is the job. And this, this is what the expense was, adds the receipt and it goes, Builder Trend links to QuickBooks now, QuickBooks Online. So if you put it in QuickBooks Online, it's going to pull to Builder Trend budget. Then you just track estimates versus actuals. You just, it's very simple. You set up estimate, you're estimating numbers, you know, drywall, framing, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire suppression, the different cost codes. Um, my, and the whole, my whole template comes with my cost codes as well. So like literally all my, my commercial cost codes. But, um, you just take that all and you set your goals, which is your estimates numbers. And then you track your actuals, which is bills that you have come through QuickBooks and purchase orders that you give to subs. So what are, can you, can you give me one more rundown again on the, on the positions that you have superintendent project yeah. manager? Yeah. Like, like the whole. So I have um, a CTO, a COO, a CTO, that's the chief... Chief tech officer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then I have a senior estimator and a junior estimator. I have an assistant project manager who doubles as a permit coordinator. Then I have about two project managers and three superintendents. And I'm actually... Did you get all that? My CTO is actually going to kind of be transitioning out out of the construction company. Um, he told me recently, so that's John. So um, 
it's been, he's been with me a long time. So I have Debbie coming in as the office manager, who's going to be kind of filling a lot of what John was doing, bookkeeping, you know, um, there's a whole list of stuff, paying subs. I have it on my wall here, managing payroll, you know, like for bookkeeping, setting up new employees, like PTO requests, all the different stuff, terminations, new hires, managing job postings, invoicing clients, managing our internal website, managing subcontractor insurance, managing J lane insurance policies, like with clients and stuff, managing insurance audits, making, uh, managing the client project loan process and paperwork, helping staff with tech, notarizing documents, getting company shirts, you know, like there's a bunch of lists here that sending the docu signs, um, managing builder trying to access for clients and subs. And I, I could always email this little list too, if you want pulling permits, um, ma managing, you know, the, the permit process, the portal and, you know, stuff like that. So the Google admin account, who's going to manage that. So a lot of stuff's office manager, some of that stuff's CTO. So, you know, three supers, two and, project and, managers. And the key question. Yeah. How do you find these individuals? How do you find the right people? It's extremely difficult, bro. Like indeed.com has been my, one of my main hitters, heavy hitters. Um, wow. Indeed. Just indeed, bro. I've hired everyone on Deed, really. Yeah. For real? Seriously. Straight up. <laughs> So wow. yeah, indeed, but it's not, it's not easy. So Ron does a lot of our like recruiting. So he's, um, you know, sometimes when we need to hire a new project manager, he'll be going into recruiter mode and he'll not just, it will put an ad out, but we're not just wait for people to come in. We do outbound on, on indeed as well. Like go through the list of a deed and be like, this guy looks good. Invite to apply, invite to apply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, just... mm -hmm. Dude, you're getting a lot of value right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> man and we we picked up um on a flip out in um have you ever i mean if you ever come to houston well you know my contact now but man i got a we got a flip man it's it's i'm really i'm really excited about it really it's um we i bought a flip for and we, we we're all doing it together it's like me my dad and my younger brother it's kind of like our our side real estate adventures. Yeah, we bought it for five hundred thousand um, dollars. It's probably worth like one point one million. Nice. And it probably we're gonna probably put in like one seventy into the rehab. Love Maybe. it, love it. It's it's <laughs> it's gonna be our first. It's gonna be my first million dollar flip. I'm very, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna, I need to put content on that. Like yeah. I need to be so big on that. Well, bro, like I used to film all my little flip houses and then people were like, yo, so I like seen you're, that. I seen that, I seen that you did some flip content. I'm like, Jesse, flip content. What is he doing? I know. I know. So I was like heavy into like, I, I want to, but, but then I'm like, what am I doing, bro? Like I'm the commercial GC. This is hurting my brand. So I completely stopped flipping houses. hundred percent. I still got like five houses that I'm like selling and working through that. But uh, I'm building some new houses right now. I bought a 1.5 acres, renovated the existing house, parceled out other two other lots, building, almost done with the first one. Other slab is poured, about to start framing. But I don't handle any of that. Jeremy actually manages all that for me. But anyway, um, I'm getting out of that residential game, like totally, because I'm like, I'm the commercial GC, you know? And I'm going to do more, more coaching, more YouTube, stuff like that too. Now that the business is kind of like, you know. Have you ever have you, have you ever thought about... um? You know, at some point, owning your own commercial, like buying a commercial property and you, you flipping it, basically. For sure, like, or like building a new apartment complex, or, or building, or building a new one. Yeah, yeah, or building a strip center, leasing it out. I probably would do more of a multifamily thing because people always need a place to live, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably, yes, I've definitely thought about that, but it's just like being at a cash position in my life to not have to bring on a bunch of partners and stuff like that. That's kind of what I wait for on that you don't have to really syndicate syndicate it all out and do yeah all that good stuff. exactly like i'm not really like i just don't know about all that yet doing it myself so because i'm i'm focused on other things right now but yeah in the future for sure i'm 31 so maybe in my 35 40s you know whatever we'll see no this i was just curious to see that's a great question yeah indeed.com indeed yeah man <laughs> yeah <laughs> Let's see. What about what about some of the systems that you use? Like, um, well, dude, let me yeah. tell you about one thing, bro. Like, I have a CRM that you use. 
Um, yeah, like we we use the builder trend one. It's 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 okay. You know, we, we're looking at maybe switching, but I do want to talk about hiring people. Like you asked about, like so, like my my package right comes with the new hire templates. So, what if your superintendent doesn't actually know what MEP stands for, like you know, mechanical electrical plumbing? What if he doesn't know what a jack stud is or a king stud? So, like I have like a whole thing that literally quizzes your new hires because I've had people that I'm like about to hire, then I give them the knowledge quiz. And it has interpersonal quizzes and stuff like that baked in. But uh, I'm like, whoa, I'm so glad I didn't hire that guy because he doesn't even know what a two by how thick a two by four is. You know, like yeah. what about a firewall? Yeah. Does it need a one hour firewall for that? You know, there's 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 questions in there that are telling. Uh, like how, how does that work? Like like when you when, when like li- like let's say all right, give me like kind of like a rundown on the hiring process when you like with your like with you, like you guys find somebody that, you know, you're interested in on Indeed, like they bring in a resume or whatnot. Yeah, they'll, they'll what send a resume. There? They'll send a resume. And then ultimately, uh, Ron will do a, a video call with them. And then if it's good, he'll do a bunch of video calls. And maybe like 5 to 10% of those people actually make it into an interview with me and Ron in the conference room. So like I'll come in, like we'll meet him. And it's like some of like 20, 20% of those people don't make it. But 80% of those people that Ron actually qualifies in, we give offers to, you know? And then most of the time, that's how we make hires. You know, they accept the offer. And then I have a DocuSign template that just goes zoop with all the different employee, you know, sections that they need to fill out. And then we import hey, them. Does that, does that, uh, does, does your systems have your, your, the documents you use to hire in there too? No, I can't do that because it's my personal payroll leasing company. Yeah, but but if your payroll leasing company, if that's what you use, will just have those documents, you know, and you just download that as a PDF and you just make a DocuSign template with like the forms that you need them to fill out, little text boxes, and then you just say, these are required fields, you know, whatever. Um, and then you just like, you just send that. So everything in your business, you save time by just making these little things to attack it. So when it's time to do it, just click the button, click, click. Then you hire someone to click, just click the button for you. <laughs> then you you don't have to do anything, you know. What what CRM are you looking to use right now? Uh, we Is haven't there? we haven't really gotten that far or researched it. Mm, yeah, but Builder Trend isn't cutting it for you right now. It, it's it's okay. Perfect. It's okay. We're 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 kind of we're kind of building a process around it. So I'm not real strong on the the CRM question right now, just because of where I'm at. Mm. Yeah, but there's different things like Hub, whatever, and. You know, you can even try Monday.com, like, but there's different CRMs out there. And what, and like, like when you said about like the hire thing, when you, when you said you're glad you didn't hire them out, um, like what, I'm like, I know for some people they do, um, I mean, this is usually with like younger folks, but they do the, uh, are they called? It starts with an I. What is it? What is it called? When they, um, they, 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 they don't hire them. Like they're not paying them. I forgot what it's called. Like an internship? An internship. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. What is it? What is it that you guys kind of do with like you know first like let's say you guys look at a project manager. You guys, you know what? Yeah, he looks good or whatnot. You guys sign the docs or whatnot. But next thing you find out, they're not. They're not okay. So good. So right. Good question. So we do a ninety day trial, like within their offer. Like I have a, the offer template that we have. Literally just says like the probationary term is ninety days. So if we were to like fire them within ninety days. It's we can do that because like he's just not a culture fit or he's not actually as qualified as we thought, whatever the reason may be. You know, obviously it's not our plan, our intention, and you know we want everyone to make it. But of course, you're paying them still. Yeah. Approximately, how much is it? That, approximately, how much is it that you, you kind of pay out to your project managers and superintendents and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, everyone's kind of like if a hundred grand is kind of like a below that it's kind of like lower above that's like higher so it's like you know an estimator is going to be like right around there right around how much 100 grand high level project managers are going to be right around there too maybe a little bit less you know you could great find a great estimator a great project manager for a little bit less than, than that line superintendents are going to be kind of around the same thing maybe a little bit less than a project manager right and this is this is different markets like california if you lived in new york Bro, if you're not making 180, 
you're you're a loser, you know, like, you know, so <laughs> if you're not making like 200 grand or more, you kind of like, it's like poverty, you know, it's like, it's, there's different markets, right? Yeah. So for Jackson, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's just like, I mean, I'm, I see like the same thing. I mean, you can't compare a house flip right. here and a house flip over there. Yeah, or, exactly. You know, multi-family over here and a multi-family cabin. Yeah, you can't do it. and so you're in Texas, right? So it's you know that's that's its own market that I, don't, I can't speak to, per se. You know, and we got we got a lot of similarities from. Wait, you're in Florida, right? Yeah, so I would say Florida and Texas are pretty pretty similar, from my understanding. Yeah, it's not. It's not too 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 different. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, any of your executive levels are going to be 120, 130, 180, 180 even, you know, that kind of thing with with profit share. Yeah. Is that what you do? Do you, do you do any profit sharing? I do profit sharing, yeah. So um, I give 10% of my net profits away to everybody. And I build, this is a new thing I just started, and it changed, everyone, changed everyone's life, the way they treat the company and stuff like that. But um, everyone is based on position, tenure, and performance. So tenure meaning how long they've been here, right? P performance and position. So it's like a COO might make more points or percentage than a superintendent or a project manager and estimator kind of sales. It's all different roles. Um, and then tenure, been here for more than two years, you know, three to five, you know, five to seven, seven to 10, whatever, more points for longer. And then performance. Are your reviews good? Performance reviews. How's how are your how are you checking out? What are you scoring? Then we put it into like an algorithmic thing, and then that's the portion of the ten percent that that employee gets. Wow. So you guys, so you, so you have them on a salary. Yeah. And 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 bonuses. No bonuses. Bo yeah, bonuses are on top of all that. Yeah. Bonuses and wow, that's yeah. a. It's a lot of chilling. That's a that's a big chunk of change. Yeah, well, it's worth it to me not to have to do a whole lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, you're right. I mean, it buys all your time, dude. I'm and buying my time. I, I can bro. just imagine that that changes everybody's perspective on. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna make sure that things don't go over budget because that's they're, that's cutting into their net profits as well. It's literally affecting their lives, and that's one thing that I've realized that I got You got to give away a little, little bit more than you think, but you know, be comfortable, but be a little bit uncomfortable. Like give away a little, uh, uh, be generous, bro. And make it tied to how well it, the business is doing. It's got to be scaled. So if you do well, they do well. If they do bad, you know, you're not going to take money from them, but if they do well, they come with you. Right. So it's kind of like this. So, yeah. My main thing, my main thing that I got from this call is really, 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 get bigger on on the website thing get bigger on seo yeah website reviews yeah something that i could maybe do for outbounding is you know do a little bit of email marketing but also go to networking events networking events networking events yeah what do you think well yeah what do you think about that i think i'm doing that as well. fantastic bro fantastic like kind of fun like funneling in the leads into like the website, like when I email the email campaigns, like make sure that my website's on there. Um, also, when I go to networking events, lead them on to my website. Like, if you want to scoop that uh, that internal systems, maybe you're not ready for it yet because you haven't really decided to start making hires yet. But I would recommend before you make hires, have this already built out. So you might, but it might take you a month to get your. Spend a, spend an hour on a Saturday, you know, over the next four weeks and just add your logos, make sure everything's good, you know, because you're going to need it. As, for as, we, as, as we've been talking, I just, I just, I just got a wire right now. Oh, yeah. $30,000. There you go, man. I love it. <laughs> for an assignment fee, man. That's dude. Uh, gotta be dude. Well, bro, spend, spend 10% of that on this internal systems thing. Well, it's low and then, uh, start building it. And then, then you can scale your company to 50 million or. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the goal. I mean, that's exactly what I want to get to. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah. Not right now, right now, what I kind of had in mind, cause what I'm trying to do is build up the systems. Yeah. So I mean, the only CRM that I could find right now was build or trend. Yeah. Builder I mean, I, trend. I'd recommend it. I've been using it for years. Yeah. I don't get paid to say that, which is annoying, but. <laughs> and then target, my target audience would be um, like 
anybody like property managers yeah. regional managers there's actually softwares for that that you could like actually track who's managing that property and yeah something that i've noticed too is like when a, a management company changes um usually like you know once a management company changes on a property usually big changes are coming so i'm like oh well, what if I could get in that door right there? Yeah, you know? yeah, bro. I mean, it's it's everything. I mean, that's what's going to take your business to the next level. You can't grow without it these days. People got to know you before they call you, bro. Indeed, based on, I'm gonna take I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look and so yeah. so indeed and, <laughs> and, and hire basically yeah my project manager. I'm take yeah. a look, project managers. Yeah, Indeed and ZipRecruiter are kind of the same thing. I'm gonna try to. Um, now for sure we need we need somebody full time office staff. We're gonna need a project manager. Project manager slash I would primarily want to get a project manager slash estimator to be able to kind of handle both parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And kind of have and probably have my dad be the superintendent and I'll kind of be like the sales guy. Mm. <laughs> that. that's, okay. That's what I'm because my dad he loves doing the he hates doing like typing up stuff. Okay. He, hates doing that stuff. he likes being he on loves, site. He wants to be on site. Gotcha. Okay. So he's he's more of a superintendent. So that, that's fine. So you can get the, if he doesn't want to estimate, then you can flip flip the script. But you know what? You need to start filling some roles. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just, right. I got to just put these roles in and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's, that, hey, man, that's great. Hey, I mean, that's great that you're, you're really taking the whole social media thing. You're tapping into a niche that not a lot of people are in. Yeah. He sees no one's in there. Dang. Like the, the whole general contracting business is just so old school. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to, I'm going to radically transform the industry. That's, I mean, there's so much, I think it's, it's such an untapped niche. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Dang. Well, cool, man. I mean, do you have uh, any, any last words? Last question? I just, I mean, I appreciate the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> This has been I mean, really good. You, you, I mean, you clarified a lot of things for me. Really, I love it. I love it. But just with just your systems in place that you kind of have. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you kind of verified. I mean, you, you cleared up a lot of things for me, so I really do appreciate it. I love it. I love it. And um, I'm gonna. So once we jump out here, did you already click that link? So because once I close, you won't be able to get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, always, it, can you say that again? Uh, yeah, and it's just jessielane.com. You just go to jessielane.com, but I'll send it again real quick. Do you see it there pop up? Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. Yeah, so take a look at that, man. If you and if you buy it, we'll have we'll have it transferred to you. Um it's a whole everything's in there. Business in the box. Sounds good, man. All right, bro. Thanks so much. Well, for sure I'm um I'm thinking of like I told you, I'm not planning on just doing one call, probably yeah. some quarterly kind of thing. Sure. Every four months or so. Yeah, yeah. You could just book it. It's not always going to be this low, honestly, because as I scale my personal brand, it's going to be more expensive. So I can't guarantee. Well, of course, I can't guarantee the if, low. If, if I'm being honest with you, I thought I thought you were already charging too cheap. Yeah, exactly. I was like, exactly. Like twelve hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah. How much? How much would you pay for for this session we just had? Like, you know, just giving me some advice. Uh, I'm being honest. I was willing to pay up to, you know, to get a, to get like a hour and a half of your time i was i mean two grand at least i was thinking four or five but not that i would you know least, charge no, you no, that no. At, but at, yeah like two grand at minimum like yeah minimum yeah yeah well good stuff bro um i appreciate it you know jesse at jessielane.com if you ever want to email me that's my that's my brand new email address what is it jesse at jessielane.com jesse at jessielane.com yeah bro. got it yeah all right, man. Well, I'm going to hop off. Sounds good, man. I really well, enjoyed speaking with you, bro. Very good meeting you, man. Yeah, you too. All right, we'll talk soon. All right. See you, bye. man. Bye. Guys, wasn't Jordy absolutely amazing? That was like a super awesome, fulfilling for me coaching call. If you want to book your own coaching call, you can go to jessielane.com, which is my new website. You can get all the digital templates and the the systems, which literally all of my templates ever and all of my systems for my whole entire company are within this, this solution, this internal systems template for a construction company. So if you want to massively scale your construction company, you can click the link to go to jessielane.com and check that out. So without further ado,
I'll see you in the next video. Peace.